Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you a few simple extra steps to actually reduce your input delay in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. Trust me guys, I've found a brand new program I need to show you and also some additional extra tricks you can do to reduce your input delay in Fortnite. And if you guys want to support today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much. And please also don't forget to check out the video before guys where I try out the K66 which is an insane keyboard. And with that said, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, for the first step, I want to show you a program which you 100% don't know, which is called Device Cleanup. And as usually guys, I'm going to put this program here on my Discord for you to get, because I try to keep my Discord as a place where I put the programs and the tutorials in the same channel. So therefore, it's like super easy for everyone to find exactly what he needs. So therefore guys, I'm going to put the link in the description. And after you drag this program onto your desktop, just simply right click onto it and go onto Extract All here, and you're going to have a new folder here on your desktop with everything which is in this program included. And since probably most most of the people right now here are over 4 gigs of RAM, we want to go on the x64 one. If you're on 4 or under gigs of RAM, just simply go on the Windows 32 version. But if you're running at least 8 gigs of RAM or above, just simply click on the x64 one here guys. And there in there you can see now the device cleanup exe. And we're just simply going to double click onto it and we can see this program here. And as we can already read here on the top left, it actually shows us the no present devices. And what this means pretty much is, every time you unplug a mouse or a device, it can be literally like a webcam. It can be a keyboard, it can be a monitor, whatsoever. Windows is making a separate registry entry which is gonna actually put input delay on your PC. Since all of these devices are getting saved as temporary data on your PC and every time Windows utilizes a brand new device on your PC it's gonna go through the entire list and scan literally everything you had on your PC before. And since I only have my Windows for about like I think one or two weeks now since I upgraded to Windows 11 actually, um, you can see that the maximum I had here were like maybe like seven days, eight days, something like that, maybe nine days. And yeah, for some people, literally there are like entries in here from two years ago. Like I've checked it with a friend of mine and he used like a Model O in 2019 and that was still in here, guys. You gotta think about it that Windows is always keeping this in the background, pretty much this info here, which is just useless temporary data, which is putting on huge workloads onto your PC and actually increasing your input delay. So therefore what we wanna do now is actually go here onto file, go onto refresh in the first place. So we make sure that we have everything here up to date. And as you can see for me, it's 79 non-present devices. And what we want to do now is super easy guys, we're just going to go into devices, go onto select all and then go again onto devices and remove selected. And now you can see it's literally removing all the devices here from the non-present devices list and now we have zero in there. And trust me guys, this is going to make a huge difference because the registry files are the ones which put the most amount of input delay on your PC because you got to think about it, Windows is always working with this information in the background. The same as the normal temporary data here on your Windows PC, you know like everyone always tries to keep his temp file actually empty this works exactly the same way and usually you can't access them on the registry normally here on Windows so therefore I would highly recommend you to actually utilize this device cleanup tool and now let's continue with the next step did you guys actually know that the Windows security application is consistently sending temporary data to Microsoft literally in the background which means that this can increase your ping increase your input delay and just overall put a huge workload onto your PC and I'm just gonna show you here right now in literally three steps how to disable and prevent this and all you guys have to do is go over to your Windows search bar and you're just simply going to type in Windows security until you find the Windows security application and just simply open it up here guys. And once we're in there we have tons of options here actually but we just mainly want to focus around the virus and threat protection section here. And there you can see right now we have zero current threats here, everything should be fine. And then we can see now the under category virus and threat protection settings. And what you guys want to do is click here on the manage settings, it's literally highlighted here, just simply open it up. And there we can see now tons of options. Real time protection which I would actually recommend you to leave on since the built in windows protection against viruses is actually quite good I have to admit so therefore yeah just simply let it run here in the background. Then we have cloud delivery protections, which I'm going to show you in a second what to do there, and automatic sample submissions. And this is exactly the one which sends temporary files to Microsoft. I'm just going to read it out. Send sample files to Microsoft to help protect you and others from potential threats. We'll prompt you that if the file we need is likely to contain personal information. And of course guys, we don't want this. This is just causing us high ping, causing input delay and all the negative stuff we don't want simply on Windows. So therefore please just make sure that this is actually turned off and then just click here onto dismiss. 
And the same also for the cloud delivery protection. I mean, we just simply don't need it guys. I'm not really utilizing cloud services anyways too much. So therefore I just simply turned it off because this is also a service which is consistently um, sending data in the background to Microsoft. So therefore, yeah, just simply turn it off you guys and click on to dismiss as well. The real-time protection, as mentioned, I would just simply leave on. But theoretically, if you have another antivirus on your PC, you could also turn it off. But with that said, we already applied here everything completely. And yeah, temper protection, I would also leave on actually. And yeah, besides that, these features here, you could theoretically turn all off. But yeah, real-time protection is kind of important, so therefore just leave it there. And then we're gonna close this window here and reset our PC. And all the settings are applied 100% successfully now. And besides that, guys, I also have a fresh new version of game user settings, which are fully optimized for season eight on my Discord server as well. Just simply drag them onto your PC, guys, open them up, and drag your new game user settings on the desktop here. Then just simply close this here. Go into your Windows search bar, type in presenter, temp presenter, and open up the first file that which pops up. Go into local, press F on your keyboard until you find Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and there you can see now your old game user settings, which you can just simply delete, literally like here straight up guys. And then once you're here in this folder still, just simply drag the new game user settings in here and you already successfully applied them. It's literally that easy guys. I already fully modified those for the best performance in season eight. And only if you guys maybe wanna change or adjust your stretch resolution, just simply go under resolution size X and Y and type in exactly what you guys use. So for me, it was 1750 times 1080. So I'm just literally gonna put it in here for both here, resolution size X and Y and the last user confirmed resolution size X and Y. Go into saved and then we're gonna close this here guys and then afterwards just simply right click onto your new game user settings here and make sure to put the check here under the attribute read only press apply press ok and now you applied everything 100% with also your integrated stretch resolution which you're using right now and as a final tip guys i just want to talk about all these skins which actually can give you the least amount of input delay in game and i'm just gonna put a bunch of skins and pickaxes right now here on screen and so many tweakers have proven that these skins actually can give you less input delay in fortnite which which is kind of logical because all of these skins and in-game cosmetics actually have no animations or whatsoever or just in general like really demanding animations you know like some skins have like crazy animations going on there so therefore guys please try to keep it as simple as possible and it might maybe seem a little bit weird but actually the Lara Croft skin in the current variant I put right now here on screen actually gives you provenly the least amount of input delay so if you have this Lara Croft skin in the PS1 version I think this is like straight up out of a PS1 game I guess this variant actually gives you the least least amount of input delay in Fortnite provenly since the skin isn't even fully rendered in HD I mean just take a look at the textures it's kind of obvious there and I just wanted to mention it as an extra tip and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and don't forget to check out the latest video guys where I'm trying out the new pro player Fortnite keyboard so therefore you don't want to miss it out and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome I'm out peace that shit too light Big four, hope come get inside Diamond Gucci, Lee, come take a dive